something here. Do you enjoy your trip? You see? <laughs> how, how, how many trips have you made? Uh, I don't know how many six. altogether. About six or more. Yes, about hey, more than that. All right, lady, right here, will you look? Now and speak. Now talk to us, please. About 80,000 miles from the Zeppelin. Quiet! All right. I enjoyed the trip tremendously. It was a real revelation. I realized that at last, the commercial uh, airship flying across the Atlantic can, uh, means something. The Graf Zeppelin was a sort of sporting, uh, sporting experiment, but this is something real and concrete. It was wonderful. I know. Well, before I made this trip, I'd already traveled 50, over 50,000 miles on a Graf Zeppelin and made all the first flights. So naturally, I was very anxious to find out what this new wonder was going to be like. The Graf Zeppelin, the, gra <laughs> the, gra the Graf Zeppelin was just like a private yacht because I could go and go into the control room and talk to the crew whenever I liked and they'd come through and talk to us and tell us all the news. But here, it's quite different. We have wonderful passenger quarters, perfectly marvelous. There's a lounge, and there's a beautiful dining room, and the flowers on the table all the time. They never upset, They're, and with beautiful uh, cooking, everything was fresh. The chief steward, Cubis, was frightfully proud because we didn't have any canned food. <laughs> of course, that appealed to me, being a woman, to see that fine kitchen with its refrigerators. The cabins were delightful. And then, as you can well imagine, I got down into the control cabin after all. It wouldn't be like me if I didn't get down amongst the instruments and gadgets one time or another. That was excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Oh.